the future has just arrived and wow i'm blown away because these new batteries are going to disrupt everything everything you know of right now within a few years time will be totally different aviation shipping transportation everything fossil fuels will decline interminably this is the point where you have to say to yourself am i prepared for this kind of change because honestly i don't even think i am breaking news here guys it's only been a few hours since this news was revealed and I'm not sure whether or not to believe it, but it seems legitimate, it seems true. We've seen a video from the company, a press release, media all over the world are starting to report on this. These are the first solid state batteries you can buy and you apparently can buy them now. Energy density of 400 watt hours per kilogram. This is not theoretical, this is like, hey, it's here. And even more, probably bigger news than this is, they are being mass produced. They've said, the company have said that if they get orders, they can produce at gigawatt scale. So the obvious question is, are we shipping this in 2029 or 2030? No. These batteries are available today. I don't know what to say, but here are the details and here's everything we know so far. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. For me, this feels a little bit like it just happened. Now, everything we've been waiting for, it's just, it just happened. Energy density of these batteries, 400 watt hours per kilogram. Think about this. The current BYD Blade battery is around about 165 to 175 watt hours per kilogram. That means it's more than double the energy density. And lighter, more than double the energy density and lighter than BYD's Blade battery. I mean, if you swap these batteries out in your EV, if you're running lithium ion phosphate batteries and you put these batteries in your EV, you would more than double the range. Much more than double the range. That is crazy. So who is this company? You probably haven't even really heard of them before. Donut Lab. They're a kind of an unusual... Uh, I haven't, I've done a couple of videos on them in, in the past. Two out of 8,000. I've done two. So yeah, it's finally happening. The startup is known for its sci-fi in-wheel electric motors, which are actually incredibly advanced and i that's the two videos that i've done on them on their motors their in hub motors which have ridiculous ridiculous power so those in wheel motors are in verge electric motorcycles and it appears to me as though verge electric motorcycles will have these solid state batteries from what I can tell, because if you actually go onto the Verge motorcycle page, they are saying their new motorcycles will have th potentially 360 miles of range. The only possible way they can achieve that is using these batteries. And interestingly, Verge don't say what kind of batteries they're using. They're keeping very quiet about that. So yeah, gigawatt scale, apparently gigawatt hour level production capacity, they can scale up to. Verge Motorcycles said that its updated TS Pro 2-wheeler will become the world's first production all-solid-state-powered EV when it reaches customers in the first quarter of this year. Now, I initially, to be honest, looking at Verge's website, the motorcycles they've got listed there, they've got new ones listed on their website, Verge, and I'm very skeptical because there is very little detail, suspension details, uh, wheel sizes, um, weights, very little details. So some of you have emailed me saying, are these legit? I would say at this point, I'm still skeptical. They don't even say the brand of the tires on these motorbikes, but I'm, I'm guessing that they're waiting to actually get these batteries into their motorbikes. And maybe that's the, at the point in which they'll actually announce the exact specifications. But here's the thing. They say that with a 22 kilowatt hour battery, they can get up to 360 miles of range. That doesn't make sense, does it? I mean, it's ridiculous. But if they are these solid state batteries, which is what Verge is claiming, then it's possible, maybe. So what else do we know? Well, Donut Lab says it's production ready all solid state batteries can last for as many as 100,000 cycles. Uh, they can be charged in five minutes. Let's be real. I mean, how many times... That's probably a hundred years of use. 
a hundred years. So, I mean, here's the other thing. You don't have to limit charging to 80%. They say you can charge these batteries to 100% as many times as you want. Almost limitless charging. With, with a five-minute charge. Now, what is the actual charging speed? Well, I'll get to that in a second. If you compare, guys, these batteries, the best energy density NMC batteries currently on the market have an energy density of about 290 watt-hours per kilogram. That's the best. So these are quite a lot higher than that, and they last far longer. NMC batteries as well, up to 5,000 cycles. In other words, these batteries will last 20 times longer than an NMC battery. Really... They're saying you'll get 10 million miles in your EV. Not that you'd ever drive a car for that long. I mean, you'd have to have one car at age 18 and drive it until you're 100. But that's what they're saying. So basically, these batteries are better in every way than any other battery we've ever seen so far. Except charging speed, we don't know exactly the numbers. But to be able to charge in five minutes, it appears the charging speed could be around 1,000 kilowatt but I don't know exactly the numbers yet. Now, apparently their solid state battery uh, retains over 99% of its capacity at temperatures as low as minus 22 Fahrenheit, which is minus 30 degrees Celsius and as high as 100 degrees Celsius. There is no battery in history that we know of that has retained 99% of its capacity at those temperatures, minus 30 degrees Celsius, minus 22 Fahrenheit, and plus 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit, batteries suffer badly at those temperatures. Badly. Some of them just don't even work. Most of them don't even work at those temperatures. They'll shut down. So when I'm talking 100 degrees Celsius, that is crazy hot. I mean, that is like the world's burning hot. So I'm just going, is there anything these batteries can't do better than everyone else? You see what I mean? It does sound too good to be true, but Donut Labs, they're very real. And these guys make some pretty damn impressive electric motors. In fact, their electric motors have 700 horsepower in a single 13 kilogram package that can go inside a wheel hub. And those are real. We know that those are real. We've seen those in vehicles. So, you know, this could be possible. If you look at the Verge TS Pro motorcycle as a reference for what these batteries can offer, um, the previous model had 217 miles of range, up to, not actually rated for 217, but up to 217 miles of range. And charging time was about, well, they say less than 35 minutes. These new models, they are capable up to 370 miles. So the range has increased from 217 miles to 370 miles. Now, those ranges are obviously taken with a grain of salt because they're saying up to. Uh, but they're also saying that the range has, in theory, increased by 40%, which would make sense, assuming that these solid state batteries are being used. That would make sense. Charging time has been reduced to less than 10 minutes. So it's gone from less than 35 minutes to less than 10 minutes. Yeah, I mean, wow. Is this the end of internal combustion? I don't think we needed these batteries to see internal combustion die by 2035, but I think that this is going to speed that up. I mean, there is no one in their right mind that can claim that batteries are going to be the problem. Charging speed. There is no engine in the history of mankind that could last for more than 100 years. Never. Never has there been an engine that can do that. While the advantages are obvious, the future of solid-state batteries has been a moving target constantly delayed when companies working in electrification are asked about when they will become a reality, said Donut Lab CEO Marco Landemarki. At Donut Lab, our answer on solid-state batteries being ready for use in OEM production vehicles is now. Today, not later. Donut Lab has engineered a new high-performance solid-state battery that can be scaled to major production volumes and is now seen in a real-world use in the Verge motorcycle bikes out on the road in Q1. Yeah, I'm almost getting goosebumps because this is crazy. I think I am, actually. You know what kind of range we're going to see in electric cars now? People say, well... Oh, uh, towing. I saw an article yesterday on Inside EVs. Towing for the General Motors Silverado EV, even the 200 kilowatt hour model, it's not ideal. It's all right. It's not, it's not really that good. It's a bit of a problem with it. This changes that. I mean, that Silverado EV pickup truck, 
right, that gets 450 miles of range, that's going to double now. 900 miles of range. You, you couldn't possibly have any problems with towing with 900 miles of range and charging speed in five minutes. That's superior to, in, to internal combustion in every way you can possibly imagine. Cold temperatures, hot temperatures, um, charging speed. You, I mean, remember, you charge at home 99% of the time anyway as well. Longevity. Energy density. I mean, the energy density is crazy because this is the first generation. Second generation will be 450 watt hours per kilogram. Next will be 500. You know, I reckon by the time 2035 comes around, we'll be sitting at 500 watt hours per kilogram energy density plus 500. That is the point where electric airplanes can literally fly from one country to another country. That's where you can fly from the US to Europe. Literally, that is the point in which that can happen. That's going to happen. We're going to see electric airplanes completely be completely replaced. Disruption will be like we have never seen before. And, and really, this is it, it sounds super sci-fi, but it is going to happen. The kind of disruption we're going to see here, everything will be disrupted. Every kind of equipment, manufacturing, engineering equipment you can think of, um, whether that's electric cranes, whether that's um, trucks, ships, ferries, Everything, cars, uh, every sector that uses some kind of gasoline, diesel, some sort of shipping fuel, aviation fuel. If you want to short something, could be start time, time to start looking at and shorting fossil fuels. Demand for them will collapse. Now, how quickly will this happen? Of course, at the start, it's going to be slow. But remember, there are so many companies working on this. And imagine how furiously they'll be working now. Imagine how, how, imagine what the CEO of BYD and CATL are saying to their staff. Imagine the sense of urgency that they have now. <laughs> They're going, oh, holy shit. We just got smokeified by this startup. What are we going to do, guys? Get to work. Hire as many people as we can. Take apart the battery. See what they've done differently to us. See, see how this works. Give it a few years. There's going to be more than more than two hundred billion, more than that, well more than that, invested in this industry, and the the improvements will be unbelievable. The change in this industry will be the fastest change. You're going to, people are going to be saying, "Oh, look at the electric Viking. He's doing another video on new batteries." And you know what? You can choose to look at it that way. You can choose to say, oh, there can't be that many batteries. There can't be this much, this much change happening because that is what humans do. We can't handle the speed of change. So we try to pretend as though it's not real. It must be fake news. It mustn't be real. But all of a sudden, it is. The future, my friends, has arrived. Guys, if you want to install solar panels, a home battery, or a home charger, the best way to do this for your situation is to go to the links in the description below and they'll take you to a page where you can compare everyone. So depending on where you, it doesn't matter where you live, a lot of people email me all the time saying, well, what solar system should I get? Who should I go with? What battery should I get? What electric charger should I get? Well, click in the links in the description and you can actually compare all the different choices and find the best deal for you. I'll put that link in the description below. Additionally, there is a battery savings calculator link and also a federal battery rebate calculator. I personally have found that I'm not paying for electricity at all, and that's including charging my two electric cars and also running my home power, my home sauna, um, nothing not paying anything at all. And I think a lot of people are getting misled. They think that getting a battery is not worth it. Actually, I think it is worth it. So those links are in the description below.